Welcome back to Biggie Outdoors at the top of the hour. We welcome in those just tuning in. And for those of you who have been listening, we're headed into another great hour of outdoor radio with Biggie and Brandon here at Biggie Outdoor Studios. This hour is brought to you by one of our great supporters at Outdoor Edge Knives and Cutlery, makers of the swing blade and other great tools for the outdoorsman. Check them out at OutdoorEdge.com and get yourself one of the best hunting knives or cutlery sets you'll ever own. Also buy Koala Buck Coolers, portable walk-in coolers for the sportsman, a great way to save your game when you're traveling on a hunt and want to keep your meat cool. Find them online at KoalaBuck.com. Now, stay tuned for more Biggie Outdoor Radio. Biggie Outdoors, located at Cedar Creek, is reopening its doors soon after its new remodeling. Home to the area's first and only big game hunting museum, with educational exhibits displaying animals from around the world and facts around the hunters' contributions to their survival. Pick up some unique souvenirs and gifts from the museum and from the Biggie TV shows. Meet the pro staff from Biggie TV and Biggie Outdoor Radio. A great place to stop in with the whole family. And while you're there, book your next hunting trip with the Biggie Outdoors Professional Hunters. With over 21 personal hunting destinations worldwide, you'll be sure to find a quality getaway with the Biggie Outdoors destinations. Biggie Outdoors is also home to Adrenaline High Geographic. Check us out online at BiggieOutfitters.com and register to win a free hunt. Biggie Outdoors at Cedar Creek. Hey, welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Radio. Top of a new hour here this morning, and uh, you still got time to get on down to the Wisconsin Expo Center, Wisconsin Central Wisconsin Convention Center. What, what's the name of this place anyway? I think it's the Central Wisconsin Expo Center. Yeah, whatever. It used to be the Patriot Center for those of you that are listening. And 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 what's going on down there is the Central Wisconsin Deer and Hunting Expo. You got it right. Okay, so I got that right finally. Yep. I hit that one, Good but there's, you, there's all these Wisconsin names and everything. It's just kind of confusing to You're a man. You're getting better. By the end of the show, actually, you should probably have that down pat. I might. I might. And uh, so there's still plenty of time for you to get on down here and see all the great displays and the folks that are down here exhibiting and take advantage of some uh, show specials. So we're right now we're in the booth, Chase Outdoors booth, uh, and we're with Justin, who is the owner of Chase Outdoors. And... He's, if you don't know where his store is, he'll tell you too. But it's right across, right next to the post office on uh, in Rothschild. On what what name of that road? It's on Brown Boulevard. Brown Boulevard. See, I don't even know. I just know where to turn. So, uh, so tell us what's going on. You got any show specials or anything? Any reason that people would want to come here and buy on Valentine's Day? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so there's plenty of things that your spouse is probably going to want that's inside of this booth, like a new gun or a new bow. Um, a lot of things going on here. Like we are things, yeah. we are really, really busy. Uh, there's a lot of people coming through the door. We are running some stuff like PSE Carbon Arrows. We're running uh, one dozen at half off, so you're getting them for $59.99. It's normally a hundred and uh, nineteen ninety nine. We are running a whole bunch of bins of stuff, archery accessories for 50% off, uh, fishing lures for 50% off, uh, any cross that you purchase you're getting a free discharge target which is the $30 value any bow that you purchase you're getting a dozen carbon arrows for free uh, there's a lot of great things we're basically everything that is in our booth is on sale on special ready to go I don't want to take it back to the store with me there you go so uh, like he said Brandon uh, this is a place that you can have your wife come on down and get you a Valentine's present because guys aren't into boxes of chocolates and laundry well we are into laundry if you're wearing it but otherwise uh, you know, this is where we want our present to come from. So you come down and see Justin at Chase. Yeah. You know, there's probably plenty of wives out there and, and girlfriends that would want some, you know, good hunting and, and outdoor accessories. You, you think know? so? You think there's some women hunters out there? Well, I, I think if we if we uh, don't include them in that, you know, Valentine's Day, you know, people who might want something from the outdoors, you're I, probably going to catch some heat for that one. I, I might, and I might be looking for it too. But I do notice there's a little bit of pink camo down here so tell me a little bit about that are you selling a lot of stuff to women well actually the last transaction i just did was a pink camouflage crossbow for a lady for valentine's day and she was here and did approve of it so there's definitely some truth to that and we do make a a, a, a conscious effort at chase outdoors to take the opportunity to make sure that we can outfit women uh carrying camouflage clothing in women's sizes you know not everything that women who hunt and fish want is in pink we do have that stuff you want pink yep. handguns pink shotguns pink crossbows but we get it you're not always looking for that so what we're doing 
Uh, a lot of compound bows that come in shorter draw lengths. They're still all camouflage, but they're more designed for the draw length specifications or the poundage that women are more commonly going to shoot at. Uh, you know, the same thing is with a gun. Yeah, not every woman wants a pink camouflage gun, so we make sure that we have you know shotguns that are standard patterns or wood that are in shorter length of pulls, lighter in weight, different calibers and gauges that may be better suited for them. So absolutely, we carry a really wide variety of that. It's important. It's actually our fastest growing demographic in our sport. You know, female hunting participation has increased by 50% in the last 10 years and shooting participation has increased by 70% according to the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Yeah, so it's still climbing. Still yeah. climbing, extremely important. When we do our free concealed carry classes at our store, we're constantly seeing the overwhelming majority of those people being in there as women because they're taking personal defense very, very seriously because they're most often the victims of such kind of acts of violence. Um, and and it's, it's important. It's really, really important for focus and not just on that thing too, but from a recruitment standpoint. The chances of our children growing up and hunting and fishing with both parents are participating in sport is significantly higher and that's the future of our sport which is so incredibly important. You said something during during that that I, I picked up on and I want to elaborate on. You said a free concealed carry course? Yeah, we try to run them as often as possible. We have an instructor that comes uh, in for, into our store from time to time to offer those. They fill up really fast. We don't get to do them as often as we certainly like, but yeah, we uh, you know, we believe that uh, it's uh, concealed and carry is a you know constitutional right, and uh, it's another thing. The more people that are doing that in this community, the safer that we all are. The facts behind it support it. There's proof in the pudding. You know, states that have these laws, like we do here in Wisconsin now, are better off for it. We want to support that as much as humanly possible. Well, without a doubt, you look at that in the, the larger cities that don't allow it, and states are that. Where's your crime rates the biggest? And I mean, that's a proven fact. Look at Australia, but they went away from it. You can't have guns there. And well, look, look at the crime rate there. They say it goes went down, but no, it didn't. There's, there, people are still being killed on other means besides a gun if they don't have a gun. So, well, when, when they take the guns away from the law-abiding citizens, the, right. all that has them is the criminals. That's the thing. I mean, you're not going to exactly. get rid of the guns. That's where I was going. So uh, I, I ask you that because we run into a lot of... Uh, uh, women, in fact, I've run into some recently that have told me that they were interested in taking concealed carry and didn't know where to go to get the class. Mm -hmm. I, I just, but it's pretty cool that you guys do it for free. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's important to us. You know, the more people in this community that are involved, the more people that are educated, the better off we all are. You know, obviously, you know, with you know, with rights come responsibility. We have to make sure that the people that are carrying firearms that that they know how to operate the gun, what the laws are, that we are executing it legally. We want legal firearms carriers, not illegal ones. So it's very important for them to know the ins and outs of the laws. You know, and that's just better for society. There's no question about it. We want more law by citizens carrying firearms. We make that a big part of what we do in the store. We're not just here to sell you a gun. We want to make sure that when you walk out, you know how to field strip your own weapon, that you have the tools that you need to clean it so that you can maintain it to make sure that when you need it most, that it functions and that it works, that we can direct you to the places that you need to go uh, to shoot the firearm, learn how to use it. Uh, it's very, very important. You don't just want to buy, buy one, walk out the door and feel like you've accomplished something. Then, you know, if you're not carrying the gun and know how to use it, it's not going to do you as much good as if you are trained and you do have a gun that's clean, function, operate. And you know what? We want a lot of rounds fired through that firearm because that's going to mean that you're more educated, more familiar with it. And that doesn't just mean pointing and aiming and shooting at a standing target. That means trying through different scenarios, motion targets, shooting from different angles at different distances so that you know the ins and outs of your firearm. It's super, super important. But we're seeing society, despite what the media is trying to tell us, we're seeing that public opinion sway. For the first time in 15 years, the majority, the majority of people in this country oppose more regulations on AR-15 style rifles. And I think, in, in my opinion, that's just a sign of people getting more educated about the benefits and the values of guns in this country. Oh, yeah, I, I agree with you completely. Off the subject of guns, not to, not to downplay that at all, but off the subject of guns, crossbows, uh, recently, you know, it, it's, it's fairly new in the state of Wisconsin that everybody can crossbow hunt. So kind of give me a little bit of insight on that because I know your crossbow sales have to be going through the roof. 
Well, yeah, there's no question. We're seeing that it be a, become a huge part uh, of the archery business. Um, there's a lot of different ways of looking at it. You know, shops like ours that have a really high level of customer service and have a really broad range of compound bows are seeing about a 50-50 split. And for most of the year, that's what we're seeing. We're still selling a tremendous amount of high dollar compound bows to people. But in regards to crossbows, what we're seeing is we're seeing new people getting into the sport of archery. People that may have historically only ever hunted with a firearm, either because they don't have the time to become proficient with compound bow equipment, they don't have the physical capabilities to do so, or people are just starting to figure out, hey, I've got this tool available that can help me spend more time in the woods, more enjoyably, and they feel more confident in their ability to ethically harvest uh, a deer. And to me, I think that's a really positive thing. Another side is too, with our mentor hunt, with having 10, 11, and 12 year olds, you know, uh, what we're seeing with some of these young kids is they're starting out with a crossbow, so they're using a more lethal weapon than that they would be using if they were drawing 30 pounds with a compound bow. They're having a higher success rate. That way they're having a higher positive response out of the sport, meaning their chances of being in the sport of archery and maybe buying compound equipment in the future is increasing dramatically. We're seeing more women get into the sport because of the physical uh, challenges. And let's just talk about it. There's dads who have traveling jobs, sales jobs, who have, when they're at home, they are got things to do around the house. You know, archery maybe isn't their number one sport, but they still want to hunt. Uh, they they are- the time to practice, that's yes, the thing. they yeah. don't, you know, it is it the responsible decision? Hey, I want to archery hunt, so I can take a weapon like a crossbow that doesn't require all the, tr as much training and time and practice to go be successful, than taking archery equipment that he hasn't touched for an entire year and maybe just not you know, being as proficient with it, is it better for our resource? Are we more ethically harvesting animals with the demographic that doesn't have time to be proficient with it? I'm in complete favor of that. Same thing too with you know, uh, people who are in charge of taking care of the home. You know, my face, but my wife. My wife doesn't have the time to be proficient with archery equipment because she owns a business and she's you know, taking care of the household. My, you know, she's the she's the rock of our household. She's keeping it clean. She's cooks and cleans. On you know, I'm terrible at that stuff. She doesn't have time to be proficient with archery equipment. If she made the decision that she wanted to go archery hunting, a crossbow would be the right option for her. Well, that's great. And so, I want to thank you for taking the time to visit with us. And uh, obviously, we we knew this was going to be a good stop anyhow. So if you're looking for some great deals on some hunting equipment, even some fishing equipment, I think Brandon's got a tip up down here that he wanted. So uh, fishing equipment, I think Brandon's got a tip up down here that he wanted. So uh, it's a good spot to get some Valentine's presents. Uh, Chase Outdoors and their booth is down here at the Wisconsin Deer and Hunting Expo down by the Cedar Creek Mall at the uh, Wisconsin Convention Center. Or you can go see them up on Brown Street in Rothschild right next to the post office. Got a great store up there as well. But we'll be right back with some more Biggie Outdoor Radio and some more great product from down at the sports show next. Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street in Wausau is your downtown destination for novelty and specialty gifts. Stop in and check out Blazing Gifts for t-shirts, knives, and other specialty items, including incense, candles, and more. Blazing Gifts handles items not found in everyday stores, even custom decals made to order. Check out Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street, downtown Wausau. If you're like most of us, your garage is never big enough. Need some extra room? Go see Denny at the Shed Shop in Elin and Shano. Or maybe you need a new hunting shack or deer blind of your dreams. Again, the Shed Shop in Elin and Shano. Complete quality built sheds, competitive prices, made with treated wood or vinyl, and handcrafted by the Mennonites. Call Denny at the Shed Shop, 715-584-3050. The Shed Shop. Hey guys and gals, before you head into the woods, you better make sure your wheels are in good condition. Stop in at Thunderlube on 17th Ave in Wausau and get a full service and a checkup. Thunderlube does it all from brakes to major overalls. Get a fall special on a full service. You can't beat the service and professionals at Thunderlube on South 17th Ave in Wausau, just south of the National Guard Armory. Ski's Meat Market in Wausau is the area's premier source of quality meat. Our brats are handmade in-house, in small batches with no preservatives or MSG. 
We only buy the freshest seafood, like this line-caught Alaskan salmon. Our 1855 Black Angus steaks are hand-cut and aged to perfection. We also carry over 100 varieties of Wisconsin artisan cheese, as well as an eclectic collection of hard-to-find grocery items. Ski's Meat Market on Rib Mountain. <laughs> hey, welcome back. It's more Biggie Outdoor Radio. We're still down at the Wisconsin, uh, the Central Wisconsin Convention Center by the Cedar Creek Mall at the Central Wisconsin Deer and Hunting Expo 2016, fourth annual. Well, come on down here and uh, see some of the great products yet today. You still got plenty of time to get your, your Valentine's loved ones some really cool gifts for Valentine's Day, uh, whether it be a he or a she. And what I mean by that is if you're a woman and you want to get it for your man or a man and you want to get it for your woman. So let's not get that confused right off the bat. So anyhow, uh, we're at Northwoods Bear Products. And it says turn nocturnal bears into daytime bears. And we're here with Pat, the owner of the company. And uh, before we get going, I want to point out this is another Wisconsin made product. Mineral Point, Wisconsin is where they're out of. So hopefully you guys know a little bit about bears. <laughs> All right, we got we sell strictly attractants. Uh, we got a product called Gold Rush that we start all our baits with. It's extremely powerful. Typically, your baits are hit within a 24-hour period. Uh, Holy crap. It's wow, I smelled that the minute you took the bottle cap off we there. We <laughs> actually hung a rag in a tree. There was no bait there. Put a camera on it to test it. We had 13 bears in 24 hours come up to that rag. We start our baits with it, and then when you, if you start to lose your bears, which you will, when the natural food, the berries, the acorns start dropping, we hit them with it again. Otherwise, we use a spray attractant. We got 20 different spray attractants. Um, we got. I thought that was seasoning for your bear meat, actually. It could be. It's 500 times sweeter than sugar. It's called Cherry Woo! Burst. Wow, that's strong stuff. Uh, wow. You just sprinkle anything you sprinkle it on, they're going to eat. If you sprinkle it on a log, they're going to eat the log. They dig a hole. I'm, I'm thinking about sprinkling that on the floor mats of my truck because that smells like it, it lasts for quite I've a while. I'll give you that. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. By accident or purpose? <laughs> Both. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have the. It's 500 times sweeter than sugar. We have it in cherry. It's called Cherry Burst. We got the Maple Burst. That smells like pancake syrup, pretty much. It's a powder. Uh, you need very little of it. We also have an apple addiction, which that cross, that's real good for deer also. Um, we're running show specials all weekend. and uh, Well, that's what everybody wants to hear about is what the show special is. And I'm telling you, our listening area, we have a lot of bear hunters around here uh, up in the Merrill area and stuff. In fact, I think the infamous bear hunter Joe that we talk about is lurking around the show here somewhere. So I would love to see if we can get him over here. But I see we got watermelon flavor. Strawberry fusion, grape, blueberry, butterscotch. This it stuff almost looks like stuff we should be buying here. Yeah, they a lot of them are super sweet. Like the watermelon smells like a Jolly Rancher. Cinnamon and bacon, anise. We got a full line of products. Shellfish. Uh, we sell it all over the nation. Uh, so where do you pour this on a stump or what? Do you we do? actually hang a rag in the tree on the spray sense, and every time we bait, we'll go in there and spray the rag because it's the dinner bell going off. It's telling them. Hey, you've been here. And then when you're, we're bow hunters, uh, so, so when we're sitting in our tree stand, we spray it out around us about every 45 minutes to an hour because it's a great cover scent. A bear's nose is 10 times better than a bloodhound's. So, the, and they'll circle the bait, so it's a great cover scent, not only, only as an attractant. Wow, that's great. How long have you guys been in business, number one? And then uh, after that, of course, we would like to know what kind of price range we got on this stuff and where they can find it. Okay, um, we have we are the spray scents are 18 bucks a bottle. The Gold Rush, which will do 40 gallons of grease, uh, it's an eight ounce bottle uh, that sells for 25 bucks, and the powders are 12 bucks. Wow, that's uh, that it, a very economical price range if you're bear hunting, and I would imagine this stuff would work good for deer hunting as well, like you said, cover scents and things like that. Uh, so where do they find it if there's not a dealer around that has it, or do you have it in stores? Uh, online, uh, Chase Outdoors, uh, Shea Creek, they're the local ones. Um, Hollow Stump, they sell bear bait also. They're in Marion, or you can buy it online. And the Shield store carries, carries us also. Okay, so there you go. Now you know where to get it. Shea Creek is up by uh, Medford area, I think. Neilsville. Neilsville and uh, 
Then there is a the guys from Chase. We just talked to them here just a little bit ago, over on Brown Street and Rothschild. And uh, but if you want some good show specials, come on down and see these guys here at the trade show. And all the pictures that are on your brochures were those bears shot over your product? Yes, they are. Uh, the we actually have the state record bear, and he's number two in the world. Uh, Alicia Hughesbow shot this bear over by La Crosse. That's the largest bear ever killed by a woman archer. Um, there's there's tons of them. Ralph, Ralph and Vicky from Archers Choice TV. Uh, tons of them. I'm, so there's a lot of people using your products. How long did you? Maybe you told me this, but how long you been doing this? Uh, nine, this is the ninth year. Nine years of, of hunting bear, or hunting for bear. Well, actually, I've been hunting bear for 35 years, but uh, we've been we've been testing this product and using a lot of the products for 30 years. When then we just started marketing it nine years ago. Wow, well that's fantastic. And bear hunting is a growing sport. What you got to say, Brandon? Well, you know, I tried hunting bear last year, and it got too cold for that. I had to put on some kind of a you know a t-shirt and blue jeans or something. Yeah, I know this guy says he's been hunting bear for 35 years, so he must have some really thick skin. <laughs> I so Actually, I, I knelt down three feet in front of one two years ago when my buddy videotaped it. Will I ever do that again? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty interesting there. So, all right, well, we're gonna take uh, a little walk and see what else we can find. I thank you for taking the time to visit with us, Pat. And uh, you bet. Hopefully, we can get some folks down here to get some bear products before the show is over. So, if you're looking for some great things to come and see, come on down to the Wisconsin. Uh, Central Wisconsin, I guess it is, Deer and Hunting Expo down at the mall down here, Cedar Creek area. And um, you're going to be pleasantly surprised because there's all kinds of great products and a lot of good show specials going on. Brandon, uh, I don't know, you know, what do, what do you think of the way that stuff smelled? Well, actually, I thought it smelled just like Valentine's Day. I mean, that was sweet. Man, it was sweet. It was, it was, <laughs> it was sweet, that's right. And there's a lot of Valentine's presents down here. Um, but, you know, some of us... We're, we're trying to send the hints out there. Brandon's actually looking for uh, his, his Valentine's presents. He's trying to get Megan kind of geared up for the right stuff. And, and uh, what you're hoping out of all the things you've seen so far, you're still leaning toward the auger or what you want? Well, I'm not leaning toward the auger. No, I want a tip up. The tip ups, the Beaver Dam tip ups from Chase Outdoors. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, that'll work, I guess, for those of you that are bear hunters and you're really into it. Um, this stuff here, I think you'd almost want to pour on your pancakes in the morning. Yeah, they had that maple blend stuff. That stuff smelled really good, really good. And, uh, it's definitely it, strong smelling. There's no doubt there. It's definitely packs a punch. Yeah, he was taking the covers off and sh sticking it in my nose. You guys were across the table, and I could see you could smell it. And uh, it's it's very strong. It's very potent. Yeah, it kind of burned the nostrils. That's was, was good. Which is, you know, it's good if you got a bear that's you know quite a ways off. You know, obviously they have a good good nose as it is, but if you got one that's quite a ways off, that's going to lure them in. The wind's yep. blowing toward them, they're going to smell it. Yep, definitely, and it's got all the sweet scents, all the berries and all the fruits and all the... smells like donuts, pretty much, you know. Scott, you like donuts, don't you? No, that was you. Oh, that was me, okay. Well, we're going to keep on walking. What do we got down here, Brandon? I see leather goods down here, people making uh, some leather good products for our hunters, and uh, we got the whitetail properties. We're going to skip by all that, but, uh, but it's down here. So if you guys want to come down here and look for some real estate, maybe uh, get yourself... Uh, a nice new deer hunting parcel somewhere or bear hunting or or whatever it might be there uh, what's up you know actually i can see you know from here they got that uh, homemade dips and salsa down there i know you're trying to get you know, we want to walk on down there so we can just do some samples well yeah you know i'm getting hungry and i really want to try some of that stuff i always like to go and and try their hottest one right away you know i like to see if their hottest one is too hot for me or not if they know how to make it or not well, yeah, yeah. I mean, because the only way to eat it is hot. Yeah. Hey, what do you think of this critter behind us, Brandon? That's standing over here. It looks like a, it's got the bottom half of a deer and the top half of a bear. Have you ever seen one of them running around? Well, after uh, about a twelve pack, <laughs> you, you never know what you're going to see. But I've never seen a mountain like that before. The bottom half of a deer, top half of a bear, and then on the other side of the booth, they have the bottom half of the bear and the top half of the deer. Oh, so they reversed it. Oh, well, there were some interesting mounts. If you, you'll you see some cool stuff if you come on down here. It looks like you can uh, join the NRA while you're here. Uh, again, we were talking earlier with the guys of the Army, so, heck, if you want to, you can join the Army, too. What do you think of that? Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, they've got all the answers, 
uh, to all your questions about that. They got the recruiters down here. You can come on by and see them. Uh, you can uh, get educated. They got the videos over there, and and they even have some contests. Or not contests, but they've got uh, some uh, some entries over there. You can win some free stuff. It looks like they were giving away some electronics. And you're filling out the entry. You're not registering for the draft. We just want to re make sure we remind people that. <laughs> Although you all should anyway, uh, if you're not. But. Uh, well, uh, let's make our way on down the way here, and and uh, what else are we going to go see next, Brandon? I see uh, we got prime bows down here, so maybe we'll go to the next aisle. Oh, you still want to hit them dips, though, yet? Right. I, I mean, what part of homemade dips and salsa didn't you understand? I'm, you know, I want to go and try that stuff out first. Okay, we're, we're going to go there. There's a couple of different, couple of different taxidermists here too, by the way. Yeah, I don't get this physique by not snacking. Oh, so, definitely, and yeah. you, you got the snack physique that's going on there. Yeah. Scott is a. Uh, He's, he's a connoisseur of fine snacks as well, I think. You said snacks, right? Snacks, yeah. yeah. Just had to point that. Had <laughs> <laughs> uh, to point that out. Yeah, yeah. With that, we better take yeah, we, it. What do we got, like 15 seconds left, and we're going to go and take a break and uh, hit some commercials from our good advertisers. Make sure that uh, you stop in and see them, but come on down to the Central Wisconsin Deer and Hunting Expo at the mall here and uh, check out the great products that are down here today. It's the ultimate tailgate event. Your chance to score. Big savings at Stark GM of Merrill. Last month, Stark finished 22nd in GM certified sales in the entire United States of America. So if you're looking for a GM certified pre-owned, Stark is the place. Find 30 certified pre-owned cruises starting at $9,995 or $149 a month. Choose from 14 GM certified Chevy Impalas starting at $12,988 or $196 a month. Or lease a new 2015 Chevy Cruze. Just $69 a month. And Stark is your truck headquarters. And that's why you can save up to $11,000 on select 2015 crew cabs. Hurry! This ultimate tailgate event ends soon at Stark GM of Merrill at Highway 51 in Q. Or visit us at StarkMerrill.com. Plus tax at license fees. Cruise selling price $99.95. $149 a month. Zero down. 72 months. 3.49%. Impella selling price $12,988. $196 a month. Zero down. 3.84% APR. 75 months. With approved credit. 24 month lease. 10,000 miles a year. 44.50 in rebates included. Must currently lease a non GM vehicle. While supplies last. See dealer for details. Based on August GM certified pre owned sales in the country. Grilling season never ends at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Wausau. Meats are seasoned in slow smoked and hickory wood burning pits on site daily. Buy it as a meal or buy it by the pound. Takeouts available. Drive through, dine in, or even get Dickie's to cater your next big event. Dickie's Barbecue Pit, located at 2111 Stewart Avenue, across from Furniture and Appliance Mart. Mmm, you can smell the hickory smoke goodness already. My brother Paul was a real renaissance man, a big city ER doctor, an outdoorsman, and always the smartest person in the room. When he was killed in a deer vehicle collision, I thought it was a freak accident, but I was wrong. Each year, deer vehicle crashes cause death, damage, and injuries. About one in every hundred drivers is likely to have a collision with a deer. For tips to avoid hitting a deer and the best rates in town, visit Champion Insurance in Weston. Troy Champion, your personal Erie Insurance agent. A message from Troy Champion Insurance and Erie Insurance Agencies. So this guy came into the store recently and he said it's my 30th anniversary and I want to get something fine for my wife. I haven't bought her jewelry in a long time and it's time. Well, of course, we agreed and we helped him find a diamond bracelet that we were quite sure would blow her socks off. Well, a few days later, he came back into Jim Creeshocks and we asked him, so did she like her bracelet? He looked at us and he smiled and then he said, well, she liked it so much that she... And then he stopped smiling. She liked it so much that she... What, we said. Well, she liked it so much that she... And then he stopped again. And then we got it. So, she's very happy, I said. And he nodded. And you're very happy, I said. And he nodded again. And I said, now that is what we're talking about. We're Jim Creeshock Jewelers on Rib Mountain Drive. And nobody renders guys speechless quite like we do. Looking for the best burger in town? Check out Brews Brothers in Weston, just off Highway 29 at Camp Phillips Exit. Voted best burger in Wausau 2014 and 2015. Fresh burger ground daily from country fresh meats, fresh buns, and 35 draft beers on tap from local and regional breweries. Enjoy fresh cut fries and chips made to order. Open 11 to 11 Sunday through Thursday and 11 to midnight Friday and Saturday. Brews Brothers, Camp Phillips Road in Weston. 
Check out Adrenaline Hydrographics in a Cedar Creek Mall. Put a custom finish on anything you want. Choose from over a thousand different patterns and colors, including camos, wood grains, carbon fibers, and custom prints like flames, skull patterns, and flag scenes. They can customize your Harley parts, baseball helmets, and hard hats. Guns and gun stocks, fishing poles, deer skulls, coat racks, you name it. Pretty much anything you can paint, they can put a custom pattern on for you. Adrenaline Hydrographics in the... Welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Radio. This segment is brought to you by Bruce Brothers, located on Highway X in Weston, just off of Highway 29. Fresh burger ground daily from country fresh meats, and awesome hand-cut fries with all the tasty seasonings to choose from. They got plenty of tap brews with 35 beers on tap. If you haven't made your way on over to Bruce Brothers yet, you need to head on over and check them out. And tell them Big E sent you, and they'll give you a little something special from us just for mentioning it. But head on over there, and you'll be hooked up with the best burgers in town. That's Bruce Brothers on Highway X in Weston. Welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Radio, and uh, we're still down here at the Central Wisconsin uh, hunting and deer show, or whatever in the world it is. Got a dog barking in the background. That's really screwing me up. But hey, we're we're uh, we actually are traveling around, and we've been telling you folks about Cutco knives, and we told you that we're sponsored by Cutco for our television show, and we uh, use those knives and about the great lifetime warranty that they have and everything like that. But and lo and behold, if you come on down to the sports show, there's a Cutco booth and a Cutco rep right here to show you all the great products they have, more than just hunting knives, and more than that block set that we're going to be using on our cooking segments and on our show. So we're down here with Kevin, who is uh, the rep for our area. Is that right, Kevin? Yes, sir. Okay. So tell us what you got going on for show specials and why people need to buy Cutco knives over uh, one of the cheaper knives. What's the knife set you got for your, bur- or your wedding? Kathlon. Yeah, something like that. Well, uh, we have four main sets that we're selling here at the show. Um, We have our biggest set that we have, and we have some smaller starter sets for people that just want to start off with a couple of pieces. Um, What's cool is we discount things here at the show between 10 to 40%. So, for example, our most popular set we have, if you went online and bought it, which is still discounted, that's normally $12.12. We're selling it here for $9.99, so we're discounting sets by a lot. And the main reason why so many people just choose to invest in Cutco is because it's guaranteed forever. So uh, it's, you, know, you never have to buy another set of knives ever again. And it's American made. So you're able to support union steel workers. There are 700 families in uh, New York that are supported by the factory. And it's, just, it's really cool being able to contribute back to th- the society that we live in. So. All right. And now you said about uh, what was the warranty on these things? Uh, guaranteed forever. So if it ever goes dull, we sharpen it for free. Um, either a rep can come out and sharpen it, or you can send them to the factory. Uh, as well as we do forever replacement. So if it ever chips or dulls or cracks or if anything happens to it, we we'll replace it for free. So. Now I was told that with my hunting knife, if it gets dull, all I gotta do is send it back to the factory, and they'll put a factory edge right back on it. Yes, sir. That's correct. Yep. Or they're not just doing that for me because I'm special. They're doing that for everybody. No, yes, sir. Every single person who is a Cutco owner, if your grandparents bought Cutco and you have it, the guarantee works for you. And if you buy it, your kids and your grandkids, it works for them as well. Okay, here's the next thing. What if I lose my Cutco in the woods and someone else picks it up? Is it still guaranteed for them? Yeah, guaranteed for them. You don't need a receipt. Having the product is proof of purchase. Well, there you go. How's that? that you can't get giddy better than that. Go ahead, Brandon. You had something to say? Well, no, I was going to say, you know, I told you it wasn't just for you. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was something that was special <laughs> yeah. for, you know, because we were where we were. But uh, I see you got that, the big, what's the big block called there? That's called our complete set. That's just it, the complete set? Well, you can call it the <laughs> ultimate set if you want to be fancy. It's cool. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> the ultimate set. I think that's the set that we got that we're going to be doing, using on our cooking show. We got some extra knives that we're going to be using as well that go into some of our knife packs so that we can use them for uh, uh, in the field and doing field packs and things like that. We got, uh, like, what, they're full of five knives or something? Yeah, something like that. And it's, I, I just wanted to touch on, until we got involved with Cutco, I didn't realize that they made anything beyond kitchen sets or, you know, kitchen knives. I didn't know they had hunting knives until he got his, 
when they were ta he started talking to Cutco, I didn't realize that they made hunting knives. Well, that's right, they do, and uh, they make more than just the kind that we have. As you can see, Brandon, you know, we got the one with the gut hook. Is that what I got for all of our group? Just because I wanted to have them all the same. Otherwise, everybody's going to want different knives all the time. But yeah. they've got serrated edges there. They've got uh, what you don't call that a serrated edge. What do you call that? We call it the double D edge. Yeah, it's a unique edge we have. I like double D's. Yeah, <laughs> some guys probably named it. So, <laughs> um, no, but that edge, so for the kitchen knives, on average, it stays sharp about seven to ten years. Um, for the hunting knives, I've, I've heard different things that people have said. On, on average, most people say it stays sharp for a good five to ten deer before you have to sharpen it again. Which one? The, the, the serrated edge one? Yeah, the, the double D serrated edge. Yeah, okay, what about the straight edge? Straight edges, that'll last you a good two, three deer before you have to sharpen it. It'll hold its yeah. edge really More good. than that. Yeah. More, yeah. yeah. yeah we, I know. <laughs> I've been using it. Oh, you've been? <laughs> okay, then there you go. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm saying higher, higher. Oh, yeah. But, um, and you got the traditional looking hunting knife over there. It looks a lot like the old buck knife with the, the wooden handle or whatever it is there. What's, uh, what's that one called? Oh, so that's actually our the longest hunting knife that we have. That's just called our hunting knife. Oh. Um, yeah. You guys can't come up with any fancier names. Than that. No, we're not this is a complete either. set. That's a hunting knife. Okay. No, we put all of our energy just into the quality. We, we, we're not good namers, but it's, except for double D. So The double, the, see, there you go. I like the double D. You could have the, tra the well, never mind. Uh, but uh, I see you got ice cream scoops. You got a knife sharpener. Is, is all this stuff Cutco here? Yeah, all this. We also have garden tools, barbecue tools, gift sets. We have uh, about six different, like a uh, can opener, uh, veggie peeler, pizza cutter. We have a bunch of different stuff for the kitchen. So, uh, And pots and pans. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there you go. So what? what is the show special if people come down here right now? What is the deal? You get them all half off or what? <laughs> so I'll tell you what. If you come to the show, I will discount whatever you're looking at by 35% or more, depending on what you're looking at. Wow, that's a good deal, actually. Cutco is definitely a, uh, a good brand, and uh, where else are you going to get a knife that's guaranteed for life? How many, how many knives did we break of the other ones we were using, Brandon? Every one of them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, every one of them. But, you know, I also want to say this is a great Valentine's gift because not only do you get something that you can both use in the kitchen, but you also get a hunting knife out of it, so it's a win-win. <laughs> When, well, that's only if you buy the set with a hunting knife. And I'm going to bet you that if you came down here and bought one of these complete sets, you could probably get them to throw a hunting knife in for you. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll discount the set and throw in a hunting knife for free. There you go. How's that? You don't even have to come down here to bargain because we just did all the bargaining for you. <laughs> okay, yeah. just come just, down here and hold him to his word. <laughs> yeah, just bring the show, uh, you know, tape it, bring it on down because there you go. You got the complete set. He's going to discount that and throw in a hunting knife. So, uh, so for those of you guys that are hunters, there you go. You can get your Valentine's present out of the way, really make your wife happy, and get yourself a really cool hunting knife in the same, same uh, all-in-one transaction. I was looking for the words. You weren't there. Well, I mean, I'm here, but I'm not there. Yeah, I know. I hear you. So, you got the shears. We got uh, we got the awning knives. You said you know, garden tools. What kind of garden tools you got? Um, well, they were guaranteed forever. They would stand up to 350 pounds. The main thing that people love about the garden tools, especially with the pruners, um, I guess in my experience, a lot of people find that they have like three, four, that they just accumulate a lot over time and none of them work very well. So what's nice about our pruners is not only they're guaranteed forever, but they actually cut a penny easier than what our scissors do. Any stick, branch, anything you can fit in there, it cuts. So they're awesome because you never have to buy another garden set ever again. And uh, if your husband's fooling around in it, you can uh, pick them up and throw them out of the garden. So. Well, there you go. That's uh, and that Brandon just cut a penny while we were standing here. So you're going to federal prison for defacing money. But uh, uh, it, it's very interesting. I mean, it uh, shows you how strong that shears is. You know, just because you said it on the radio doesn't mean anyone believes you. So you can't prove number seven. Prove that you actually did it. <laughs> so when you said garden tools, you were talking about pruners and things like that. You're, you don't have a hole. I don't have. Oh, no. Um, no, we don't have a hole. <laughs> But no, no. I didn't mean. <laughs> I didn't mean you personally. I meant. <laughs> does Cutco sell hoes? <laughs> oh no, no. We have. Uh, so we have transplanting trowels. We have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't have hoes. No. <laughs> um, we have. Uh, well, that's good because it seems like there's hoes everywhere. We don't need any more of them. But uh, yeah, no. go ahead. You got trowels. Oh yeah. So we have trowels. We have a weeder, uh, and we have pruners, and then we have a cultivator. There you go. Uh, garden tools. Uh, no shovels or nothing like that, so they can, so nothing, you can you can cut up your victim, but you can't bury him with this. <laughs> but uh, very nice products. What do you think, Brandon? Is uh, other than the Valentine's comments, you got anything else you want to add? You seem very stunned over here. I don't understand. Is it the double D thing or the hoe? 
Or maybe it's a hole with a double D. I don't know. Hey, that would be something there you could the cut go hole with a double D. Edge. Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, Guaranteed forever. You ain't gonna get that anywhere, I'm gonna tell you what. Even her daddy won't do that. Oh, okay. Come on down, see the guys at Cutco. Remember, they'll give you the ultimate set here. They got just about everything you can think of, all the steak knives, and uh, and you can get a good deal on that. He'll give you a discount, throw in a, a hunting knife for you, and you you will never have a better hunting knife in your pack. I promise you that. I've been using a Cutco demo that they gave me last year, and uh, I've dressed out uh, quite a few deer already with it, elk, and uh, even a buffalo with it, and it's uh, still going well. And I uh, love the thing. So uh, we're, we're sponsored by Cutco and happened to run into their booth down here. So make sure you get on down to the Wisconsin, so, excuse me, Central Wisconsin Deer and Hunting Expo at the Central Wisconsin Convention Center, which is down by uh, Cedar Creek at, at the Rothschild exit. So uh, what else, Brandon? Yeah, I mean, that, that about. I'm still stunned on the whole yep. the double D ho comment. <laughs> <laughs> don't, hey, don't worry. It's a garden tool with a serrated edge. What are you talking about? Uh, I'll tell you what, why don't you go ahead and wrap this up, and I'm going to go and get some liquid courage over there at the bar. So, okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of things for the kids to do down here. Don't forget the BB gun range. We got the bow, uh, the Bowman, the Rib Mountain Bowman. They're doing the uh, 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 targets with the bows and stuff like that for the kids. Stuff for your wife down here. You can get knives. There's all kinds of different things for your wives to look at. There's hunts you can book. There's outfitters everywhere. We're standing next to an African safari outfitter. There's bear hunting outfitters here. We got uh, the Monaco Gun Club down here. There's every sports center in the in the areas down here, and everybody's got show specials. So, uh, I mean, what else do you want to do on Valentine's Day, really? I mean, you can go to dinner later. You know, it's a small show compared to a lot of them that we go to, but they seem to have some pretty nice products here. They do, and and the best part about it is a lot of these smaller shows. If you go to these smaller shows all over the country, sometimes they get carried away and they bring in just any product or any company that wants to come here, and it might not have anything to do with hunting or the outdoors. And this one actually seems to have a great amount of outdoor products and everything to do with the, the hunting industry. And there is a few things here for uh, that, that doesn't necessarily have to do with the outdoors, but it has to do with you know the ladies and keeping your wife happy too. You know they've got that's definitely important when you're going hunting. I don't know about you, Scott. From hauling to hunting, protect your truck bed with Linex Spray-On Bed Liner from BRB Auto Body. DuPont Kevlar makes Linex five times stronger than steel. BRB can color match Linex to your truck. Tough just got prettier. Linex forms a permanent watertight bond, and the finish follows every angle. BRB Auto Body believes anything worth protecting is worth overprotecting. Linex at BRB Auto Body, Rothschild. Expect a quality job from BRB Auto Body. BRB Auto Body. Deer collisions, door dings, hail dents, or accidents, BRB Auto Body makes your car look new again. Make BRB Auto Body your number one call when an accident happens. BRB offers 24-hour towing, complete body and paint repair, and complimentary replacement vehicle when accidents happen. Call BRB Auto Body, Highway Double X Rothschild. BRB Auto Body, there for you through all the dings and dents. Expect a quality job from BRB Auto Body. BRB Auto Body. Hey, it's Mike with Auto Trim and Sign here in Wausau. You already know we do the fun stuff on vehicles. We can also help your business. Whether it's simple lettering, company decals, or even a vehicle wrap, Auto Trim and Sign can design and install graphics perfect for your business. Your car, truck, trailer, big rig, or your company's entire fleet will be in good hands. Check out our website, autotrimofwausau.com, or call us at 715-842-9114. Do you want to get the most exposure for your business for each dollar spent? Of course you do. We can help. Whether it's simple lettering, company decals, or a complex vehicle wrap, Auto Trim and Sign is a 3M certified company that can design, manufacture, and install graphics perfect for your business. You can be assured your car, truck, trailer, big rig, or your company's entire fleet will be in good hands. Check out our website at autotrimofwasa.com for examples of our work. Or give us a call today, 715-842-9114. Welcome to Blue Willow Cafe, where you'll find home cooking at its best. 
This cozy cafe offers an unforgettable breakfast that'll keep you coming back for more. Blue Willow's family-friendly atmosphere with made-from-scratch homemade food has become a favorite gathering place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Enjoy delicious homemade soups, pies, day-of-the-week specials, and more. All in smoke-free dining with family-friendly pricing. Open seven days a week, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Join us at Blue Willow Cafe, North 4th Avenue, Wausau. Some of us aren't as young as we think we are, and the weather lets us know it. Treat your body right and go see Jen and the staff down at These Hands Massage Therapy. Massage isn't just for relaxing these days. It's a therapeutic treatment that will leave you feeling refreshed and tuned up, just as good as tuning up your engine. You take care of your truck and your bow, so take care of your body too. Go see the staff at These Hands Massage Therapy on 17th Avenue, just south of the Stewart Avenue intersection, next to the consul- Hey, welcome back. We're back with Biggie Outdoor Radio here, and we're still down at the Central Wisconsin Deer and Hunting Expo at the Central Wisconsin Convention Center down by Cedar Creek in Rothschild. And as we were going on down, I'd seen this thing, and it said, Big Bear Crack. And the last time I went by anything that was a Big Bear Crack, it wasn't bait, I can tell you that. So <laughs> I had to stop because I saw it. And I'm thinking, hey, i got to get me a shirt because Brandon should be wearing that because when he bends over, that's all I ever see is a Big Bear Crack. What? You're very quiet now all of a sudden. That stuff smells really good, though. It doesn't, doesn't smell like what I'm used to. If you smell this stuff, it smells very sweet. I can smell it all the way from over there. They've got powder and they got scent. And the thing is, is this is another Wisconsin product, Brandon. It seems to be like there's a lot of bear hunters in Wisconsin. I don't understand. Yeah, I know. It gets pretty cold to hunt bear in Wisconsin. Yeah, I know. I have to wear my clothes all the time. So we're here with Floyd. Floyd and his family are here. They flip coins because nobody wanted to talk on the radio, and we wanted to, to visit with him a little bit because he's got bear candy. Uh, looks like it comes in many different flavors here. So first of all, tell us about Big Bear. What is Big Bear? Big Bear scents are black bear attractants used when you're baiting and hunting black bears. Um, extremely strong, powerfully flavored bear attractants. We use them... Uh, Pre-baiting and when you hunt, normally all of our products are field tested for a minimum of one to two years before we, rele- we release them for sale to the public. How long have you uh, been making Bear Sense for, all right, for sale, I guess? We've owned the company for four years and it was started in 2006 by another individual in, Madis- in uh, Minnesota. Oh, okay. So we got... What, what is it? Let's start down the line here. What do we got? We got sprays. I see it's coming in a big spray bottle. So Yep, them are 32-ounce bottles of our Ultra Red Spray. Come in uh, 13 different flavors. Anything from wild cherry to caramel, honey, anise, your standard anise and bacon that many individuals use for bear hunting. Okay, and then... We've got our Bear Crack products. That's an extremely sweet, fine powdered product. You uh, sprinkle directly on your bait for a flavor and a sweetness factor. So if you just put the, well, let's say you just put that powder on a stump, what happens? Will they will they go after it that way? Or? Yep, they'll chew up the stump also. It's a good way to uh, prospect for new bait sites for there. following years. Okay, there you go. And what's this stuff here in the black bottle? That's our Ultra Red 8. It's our concentrate to mix with fryer oil, either new or used fryer oil. oil. Uh, that we have in seven different flavors. Uh, we're all about multi flavors with our company. And then we, yeah. then we got the candy down here. Is this just a powder to pour out on the ground or on and top of your bait or what? Goes on, that will melt right onto your popcorn in an oil popcorn popper. It's for uh, people that have trouble finding bait or remote camps that want to make their own bait in camp. It's light. It's a good bait extender as opposed to bought and bait. Well, the thing about popcorn, they're not gonna run off with the bait either. They're gonna have to sit there and eat for a while. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much all bait we sell is small pieces. We recommend people bait with small pieces of bait. The longer they're at the site, the easier they are to kill. There you go. And is this a family business? I see this is your wife here, right? Yeah, Linda and I own the business. My brother Joe is field staff. You know, everybody's shying away from the microphone here today. We have about 12 other field staff besides Joe scattered out from Minnesota to Maine. Like I said, everything is field tested. We're more yeah. of a bear hunting company than a sales company. <laughs> well, that's all right. People need to, but we need to find out about the product. And I see you got some 
some shirts with some pretty cool sayings on them and things like that so that uh, there's a reason for people to get down. So if they come down here to the show, what kind of show specials have you got going on? All of our apparel, our shirts are on sale. Um, all of our product is also on sale. We have show specials this weekend only. Like our Ultra Red Spray is normally $23.99. It's $18 for the 32-ounce bottle today. Crack, Bear Crack, is normally $13.49, and that's on sale for $10. Everything we have at the show is on sale. We also have pre-sale specials on bait. You can come in and book your bear bait for the summer and pre-buy it and pay for it today, and you have till May 7th to pick it up. So this candy that's over here isn't for people to buy and eat? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the next thing then, uh, let's go. I was kind of checking out them peach rings over there, but no. No, some of the stuff you may be able to eat, but I saw the packages that came in. You did some of it you don't want to eat. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that answers that for us. Uh, it's factory waste, man. Let's see. Uh, the next question is, let's say I want to buy some of this. Where do I go to get it if it's not in my stores? Or what stores carry it? The best bet is to go online. We have a listing of our retailers online, or else just go online to www.bigwoodsbigbearsense.com or bigwoodsbearbait.com if you're looking for bait. Okay, that's great. And uh, how about stores? Any stores carrying it yet? There's a listing of all our retailers on the okay. on the websites. So. Okay. All right. Well, anything you want to add, Brandon? I see he's got our our, our, our shirt with a, one of our favorite jokes right on it. it. Says "Home of the Master Baiters." We always have bait. So uh, I can think of a couple of bear hunting people up in Canada. We want to get that shirt and take it along to them. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I definitely think so. I, actually, I think we need to get one for, for Joe, for Bear Hunter Joe. Where did he go, by the way? He bear, was. Yeah, Bear Hunter Joe. we always been telling him that he's got to be one of the best baiters we know. Yeah. Uh, he was just standing here by us. I think he, yeah. actually, he went to get another beverage. You know, every time we want to talk to him on the radio, he's gone. Yeah, or his phone died. He doesn't have text messaging, so if you don't answer the phone when you call him... People are starting to think that he don't exist, I think. Well, he, he's around. He's around. He's, he's around. We can see him. So come on down to the uh, Central Wisconsin... Uh, deer and hunting expo and check out the, the big woods bear baits and uh, big bear products because uh, they got a lot of good sweet smelling baits here too so they're if you're a bear hunter there's definitely something for you to do down here yep. actually i wish i wish joe was uh still standing over here because he uses this stuff he uses the the big bear baits does he does he use bear crack actually I, I don't know what products that he uses but I know that he uses these baits. I, I've uh, seen them before in the back of his truck at work, and then he showed me some of them. I remember the one in particular. I remember is the. Church. He's not the guy that gives you candy at work, is he? No, 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 no. I get, I get, I get my candy, out of, uh, candy out of the vending machine at work. I would, I would say so. <laughs> I was looking at it over here. I was going to go over there and buy some, walk around and eat it. I didn't know that was bear bait. That's not. Uh, yeah. Kind of changes my mind about them peach rings. Yeah, well, I, actually, I know uh, we got a couple guys at work that are addicted to those peach rings, and I, I, I think he would probably buy those for himself, regardless of what they, they say about what the packaging from? looked like and the fact that they're factory waste. Be down there. He's All right. hungry enough. He'd eat them. We're going to say thanks to Floyd. Floyd, thanks for uh, taking the time and visiting with us. Thank Good you. luck to you. We'll see if we can get yeah. some folks down here, pick up some bear bait, get you some bear crack and some of this big bear ultra red super smelling stuff whatever it is here but i'll tell you what this you can smell it i'm not even standing near the counter i can smell it from back here it smells good this stuff is way better than uh victoria's secret or any of that uh good cologne or that good uh, per uh perfume that women could wear this is like perfume for bears yeah yeah I yeah yeah all right let's move on down the line brandon we got a couple minutes yet and we can see if we can uh, talk about something else you know, there's quite a bit of stuff down here at the show, Brandon. We've been walking around, and now, you know, we're just kind of standing here, the three of us, and we're, and we're in the Swiderski booth, and this is definitely, you know, my grandson likes to come and play here, but this is a good place for, for big boys to come and look at toys, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was looking for the words. Okay, yeah. The words are, yeah. Yeah, yeah they've, got, yeah. <laughs> they've, got, they've got some food plot machines here and stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lots of different uh, different size tractors, depending what you're planning on using it for, basically. So, so what do you use it? You, who needs to have a use for a tractor? You just got to have a tractor. I don't care if you live in town; you should have a tractor. 
you would use it to plow your neighbor's driveway or something. I don't know, but they do have them here. They got uh, food plot machines. We got uh, tillers behind us. This looks like a roto tiller type thing, a bobber here, and then we got a disc and uh, uh, all kinds of little toys. Yeah, but but we when we get back after the break, we're gonna go and visit your favorite booth and look for your new house. Yeah, Greenway RV. I'm definitely, you know. One of the RVs that are, or one of the trailers that I'm looking at over here is just, just as big as my apartment, so heck, I could actually save money on rent and buy a camper. <laughs> there you go. You just back it into the yard by me and hook it up, and uh, we could be neighbors. Well, I don't know about that. You know, I, I don't know if I want to be neighbors with you, but. And then we could head on down and get some of them dipping sauces, and we'd share that. You buy half, I'll buy half. We got, we can watch the games, and you can live in your little, uh, your little trip. Be like the Beverly Hillbillies, kind of. Yeah, only cooler. Yeah, definitely cooler. Yeah. What do you think about that trailer over there, Scott? I mean, you're from down by, between Rome and uh, and uh, Adams right. County, so I mean, there. yeah, you're close enough. No, so I mean, that's almost like a condo. That's a condo over there. I live in the town of Rome. Over the hill is a different story. But anyways, yeah, the Greenway is right there in Wisconsin Rapids, so they have uh, a lot of nice trailers, uh, RVs, anything you need. I'm surprised that you got a Greenway up no here. And we didn't get uh, one of the one of the more local, like Kings or somebody, to be down here. Isn't that something? But come on down here. Greenway's got some pretty cool RVs for you. This one here's got LED lights under the little awning there, and it looks pretty homey in there. That's what sold me on the idea, the LED lights. Yeah, I figured anything bright and shiny. All right, we're going to take a quick break after all that uh, confusion, and we'll be right back with some more Biggie Outdoor Radio. Let's take a few minutes and visit with our sponsors. Looking for the perfect gift for your hunter? How about some hydrographic dipping? Check out Adrenaline Hydro down at the Cedar Creek Mall. They're located in the Biggie Outdoor Museum and Pro Shop. You'll find the hydrographic solution to all your needs. Let Adrenaline Hydro put a custom look on your gun stock, deer skulls, bar glasses, car and truck rims, or even put a graphic design on the entire interior of your car or truck. Come see us for a deer season special. Bring us your deer head, uncleaned, and we'll beetle clean it and dip it with your choice of over a thousand different patterns for only $125 for the whole package. Get on down to Cedar Creek Mall and grab a gift certificate for this now before the special ends. That's Adrenaline Hydro down at the Cedar Creek Mall. If you're like most of us, your garage is never big enough. Need some extra room? Go see Denny at the Shed Shop in Elin and Shano. Or maybe you need a new hunting shack or deer blind of your dreams. Again, the Shed Shop in Elin and Shano. Complete quality built sheds, competitive prices, made with treated wood or vinyl, and handcrafted by the Mennonites. Call Denny at the Shed Shop, 715-584-3050. The Shed Shop. My brother Paul was a real renaissance man a big city ER doctor, an outdoorsman, and always the smartest person in the room. When he was killed in a deer vehicle collision, I thought it was a freak accident, but I was wrong. Each year, deer vehicle crashes cause death, damage, and injuries. About one in every hundred drivers is likely to have a collision with a deer. For tips to avoid hitting a deer and the best rates in town, visit Champion Insurance in Weston. Troy Champion, your personal Erie insurance.